guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat, and today we are visiting a new game. And we are visiting Railway Empire. Um, now, I've uh, sort of been wanting to play this for a little while, um, and I finally got it on sale recently. And I uh, just thought I would jump into this and just for you and me uh, both to see what it's like, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go in for, I think I'm going to go in for the campaign. I was contemplating whether it's going to free mode or sandbox mode, but we'll go we'll go and do the campaign. Uh, we've got chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I would imagine that it, this literally just puts us... Your first chapter takes you to the construction sites of the Union Pacific Railroad, which was started in 1863. Uh, tracks were built westwards to establish the first transcontinental line while you are conquering the vastness of the Great Plains and the heights of the Rocky Mountains with your tracks You will learn about the basics of railway empire Thomas Clark Durant the visionary in charge of Union Pacific will assist you. Okay, let's go. Let's do this So pause mode normal the game pauses automatically when building tracks signals buildings and in bulldozer mode it looks like these are going to be the towns where we're going to have to set our railroad tracks up to, right? I would presume. The rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about how this business works. Okay, so now we've got to choose a character. And this is the first time that I have played this game. Um, I, I believe that I'm going to call it Meerkat Express. Um... Sometimes so, I think about giving everything up and dedicating my life. Oh, do we literally do we literally only have the industrialist? Okay, I guess this is the only guy we have. So, when visiting his gentleman's club, Rod Roger Smythe is always impeccably dressed from top to toe in his suit, top hat and cane. For him, a pedantic approach to accounting is as much a matter of course for him as having a precise plan for each company. He has no problem taking advantage of, the, of his competitors' weaknesses. If a successful competitor builds a train station in a city, he quickly sites a factory there. Uh, newly constructed factories are 50% cheaper. He's able to buy a town's factory without an auction. Auctions are 50% more expensive. Well, let's, let's leave his name as Roger Smythe, just because um, we're going to change the name. We're we not change the name of the company. Apparently not. We've got to be called Union Pacific Railroad. Okay then, I guess we're going to go in with that. We can't call ourselves Meerkat Express. Um, which sucks a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Railway Empire. 1863. On the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. I'm liking the art style on this. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished. To tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured. But the time was ripe. I'm liking the little art stylings of the uh, the cutscenes there. That's pretty cool. Greetings. Wow, okay, so here we My go. My name is Thomas Clark Durand. Exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as Chief Engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm just going to go through some of the options on this for the gameplay and stuff, just to see what I can change, guys. But this, this game, ridiculously detailed. I mean, look at that. Like, seriously, this is so detailed. Now, effectively, this game is is going to just basically be um, the new version of... Oh, I forgot what the game is called now. For the life of me, I forgot what the game is called. Um, let me quickly think about this. I cannot for the life of me remember, actually. Anyway, there's, there was some previous railway games, and um, th I believe that this is very much similar to those. Um, and I, I can't believe that because I played them before when they when they were originally out 
back in the day, a long, long time ago. Um, and they were quite popular back in the day, very much like SimCity. But yeah, anyway, I can't, I can't remember the name of it. It's going to bug me the entire recording, however. Um, so, we've got Omaha, ha, uh, Omaha here, and we need to basically get over to Norfolk. Now, ideally, I would imagine that that's going to be best possibly going through Lee Breeding. Like, if we, if we do a track, like, by where Lee Breeding is, that's probably not such a bad idea. Um, there's also meat industry there. I think that's for Omaha itself. So I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna have a look quickly through the options on this, just to see if I can I can alter the camera controls a little bit because I don't like using WASD to, to go around. Um, I don't really want edge scrolling. I would like to be able to click and drag, but we shall see what we can do. Okay, guys. So we can't have we can't have scrolling um, like click and drag for some reason. So we're gonna have to do it um, a combination of like edge scrolling perhaps and. And also using the arrows here, because the arrows don't seem to be too bad for this game, to be fair. Um, so let's have a look around and see what we've got. So we've got North Platte is over here. Oh, there's some uh, quarry. Looks like iron ore or something. Uh, not a clue what that is. Looks maybe salt or something. Um, that's wheat over there, wood. Uh, there's another town. We can just zoom right out over here. And I think what we're probably going to have to do... Got Wichita down here. Dodge North Platte. Okay, let's um, let's get our track built. So it says that we need to go into building construction. And is it just a normal small train station that we need? Um, now. have a look. We don't want it too close to that road. I'm just gonna pop it there. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, switch to track construction mode. Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. But you see how it's going like right through that meat stuff, right? And we, do we really want it to be going like that? Yeah, I don't know, really know whether to take it around past this place or not. So let's see. Ah, oh, you see, that needs to be quite close to there, really. So, yeah, let's leave that for now. Let's go back into the tracks and... Oh. There we go. Pop that onto there. And that's that done. 47,000, so we got 603,000, so we might as well just build that. Train so that you can set up a rail New train. Between your stations. Set up a rail your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to a locomotive. Norfolk. Loading. Automatic. Manage train. So, I believe this is the only train that we can currently get, Philadelphia, so let's have a look at this. 35,500, uh, 27 miles per hour, sustainability freight, oh no, suitability, sorry, freight. Guess we're just getting that one then. So that's that Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it.
However, as each locomotive needs water, sand and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. I have to place a supply tower? Is that like halfway? Yeah, that is about halfway. Very good. Your train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Right. Okay then. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. Oh, is Omaha? Here it is. And build and now that. things are getting tricky as we have to deal with a logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Yes, Since it certainly trains will. cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. How am I supposed to create a side track? Quarterly report. Do you want to open the quarterly report now? Why not? So, we've got no income, no expenditure. I think that's just because this is the tutorial. It's probably not really going to show as much in there. Um, build side tracks. Oh, okay. Okay, that kind of makes sense now. Like that. Excellent. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now, right, okay. Open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. In the direction of the switch. Which way is that supposed to be like that? Make way? sure that the track can only be traveled in one direction. For this purpose, set the signal so the trains coming from the opposite direction cannot pass. Very good. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. Right, okay. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Okay. We got those two now places connected. Now train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Right, okay, so we've kind of got things set up a little bit here now. So we've got Evans Farm connected into Omaha, which is also connected into Norfolk. Um, and we've got two trains going. One of them's going from Evans Farm to Norfolk. One's going from Omaha to Norfolk. Which is right, I believe. Or maybe I should have done it. I 
don't know how to change it now, but... Evans farming a hard Norfolk, right? Excellent. There we Car go. And farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We are still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Right, okay. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. The station receives a maintenance building that automatically services locomotives before they continue on their journey. Right. Yep. We've been lollygagging that. for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. Right. Conquered the Great Plains by rail starting from Omaha. Uh, connect Omaha and North Platte. Uh, connect Omaha and Cheyenne. Deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver, 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne, 15, un connect 150,000 people to your rail network. Uh, okay, so let's start off with these. Uh, connect Omaha and North Platte. Um, where's North Platte? North Platte's over here. So if we go through... We might as well create a bit of a loop here because there's a dairy farm here so I'm thinking put small trade station in here somewhere put that there and we can put another one in there and then this is North Platte. Small train, train station. And we're going to put it down there. There we go. Right, now we need to connect all of these tracks up. So that one. That one. Build that. That one. That one. Build that. And that one. Yeah, that one into Norfolk. Good, that's finished. You're making progress. Right. So, I think we're nearly done. On the side of things, I'm just making everything so that it uh, it runs nice and smoothly, guys. This is taking me a little bit of time just to get it all right. Um, hopefully, when we get later on in the game, we'll actually have train stations that will actually have two tracks, uh, making it a lot easier. And that's all running fine into North Platte. There we go. Okay, so next thing, what we need to do is we need to create uh, manage trains so we've got one going from Omaha to Norfolk which I think we should really change that uh, no we don't want to open that at the moment really Ah, here we go. Evans Farm, Omaha, Norfolk, Johnson's Fattening, Point Manor. Mm 
Right. Automatic. Even exit. That's true. We'll have a refrigerator car and a mail car on there. Uh, I don't think we're going to need any. Right, so what other tasks have we got to do? Now we've done that, we've got Evans Farm, Umaha, Norfolk, Johnson's Fattening, right down into North Platte. So let's see what other tasks we have to do. Connect Umaha and Cheyenne. Uh, where is Cheyenne? I think that might be down here, and no, that's Wichita. Dodge. Ah, Cheyenne's over here. We've got a couple of places around here as well. We've got a Jackson Trough and a Jenkins Quarry. I wonder if we could actually put a small train station. I oh, won't be able to do it, are we? That sucks. I was hoping that we'd be able to get a small train station in for just both of these on on its own. But apparently not. Uh, maybe put one there. There we go. We got a nice fat Lost bonus for connecting that in. Washington get on one's nerves. But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town, hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs. You can right. find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. Right, there we go. Now we've got Cheyenne connected in. We've got some nice double tracks going on with signals running all the way through. Um, I think... Not that one. This one, we need to change its route. So, there we go. So we've got those two. Uh, set up a new rail line. New train, set up rail line. Here we go. This one's going to be a passenger only. Norfolk, North Platte, Shen, then back again. There we go. Passengers are male only. That's that. Manage train, buy one. Mail car. Dining car. There we go. Uh, you can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. Why would I want to do that? Alright, ah, okay. I think we're clear. Okay, let's go and have a look at Cheyenne, which I think is over here. Town information. Let's have a look. 
It is the man for goods. Shayan currently needs only a handful of goods, and you can only deliver goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Okay. Right. Right, so this is what I'm going to do with this one. That's about all we need. And the quarterly report. Ooh. I suppose we still made some money, right? Uh, we're just spending a lot of money building tracks and stuff, so... There we go. Oh, there's no need to put anything extra on that, so that's fine. Well done. The city will soon grow. Oh, we've already done that. Well there we go. It's being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. Where did I put the other one? I think it's quite away. Right, so around here, I think I'm going to put another supply tower. Right in the corner there. And then I'm also in Cheyenne. I think I'm going to construct a maintenance building on Cheyenne. Let's speed the game up. Locomotive slow due to missing equipment. This will be because there's no supply tower from where it came from. But now there is, so we're all good. Uh, the better a city is supplied with goods by rail, the faster it grows. Select the city dialogue and learn more about its requirements. If they are over 60%, the city can grow. Those technically. Uh, we can put. Small station there. Right, now we can do it. If we do Evans Farm, 
Omaha breeding. Bunsen's hot. Yes, one more thing. Your company has also a research department to help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Open the research dialog to find out more about it. There we go. I've got this Lee breeding place in. Nicely, actually. I'm quite impressed with that. We should probably get Wichita in at some point. Uh, Howard Ranch near Billings. No, I don't want to take over that. It's too far away. We've already established this, haven't we? Uh, research department. Here you will find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. We do not know. For each advance, you require innovation points, which you get automatically each month, and which can be increased in various ways. Now, take a look around here, and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. How about a new locomotive? How about a new locomotive? Um, I think that's probably a good shout, to be fair, Mr. Businessman. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. What do you mean locomotion is slowed? Where is it? Uh, I bet this hasn't got... Yeah. This is my fault, because I have not put... A supply tower into this line anywhere. We'll pop one down there. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think it's looking pretty good so far. We've got a nice little thing going on. Uh, so let's do some research. Uh, what can we do? Express. Oh, so we've got 280 innovation points right now. Uh, we need to unlock three more innovations. Special type of axle suspension on this locomotive offers the advantage that the drive wheels can also be steered, combining a high driving force with good performance on bends. By intentionally designing some train lines in a way... No, I don't want to view that. Uh, in a way is that long distances can be covered in as short a time as possible. Okay. Um, <laughs> but in a short time as possible, public interest in travelling is increased. Uh, increases the number of passengers in every city where your company has a station by 8%. That's quite a lot. I'm going to go for that now. Yeah. And what's my this? Caboose. Say I'm lining my own pockets. These are, of course, hideous lies. And look at it this way. With the profits I'm making, I can invest much more. Jobs, jobs, jobs. We well, may as well unlock this. Of competitors, but if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. What? You haven't encountered her yet? Be glad. She takes everyone to the cleaners. Ah, this is pretty cool. I like how it's so detailed, you know? Like, that's our original train. Everything is literally just so, so detailed in this game. Considering the fact that it is just a... It's just a standard game, isn't it? And it's, it's not... I don't know. I, th I think it's what they were sort of aiming for is the, is the graphical quality of some sort of higher end games and stuff like that, which is great because it's you know a lot a lot of times when people redo games like this or try and make games um, that have already been done before, they try and sort of improve the wrong areas or or they leave it to um, 
you know the graphics the same or whatever and in some instances that's fine there's there's nothing wrong with that um, but i think for a game of this magnitude it does does require that little bit of extra tlc as it i mean just look at the graphics on this you know each individual plant and stuff of corn and uh, we've got the actual sort of the farm and everything um which is awesome it's really cool and i really really like it Anyway, uh, what we got? Omaha's growing, Norfolk's growing, North Platte's growing, Cheyenne is growing. Um, I don't really know what else we need to connect in at the moment. I think I'm going to possibly end the episode here. Um, just because I think we've got quite a bit done so far. And I've probably been recording for quite some time. I don't actually know how long I've been recording for. I've not really been paying much attention. Um, but it's probably over an hour, I would suspect. Um, I always, I always sort of get like, like with these games, it's they're very much my thing. I enjoy playing them, so I lose track of time really quickly. Um, anyway, if you have indeed enjoyed watching this particular video uh, on the channel, then please do leave a like on the video. Um, any comments that you may well have, leave them in the comments section down below, and I will certainly respond to those for you. And uh, Cheyenne is just grown again by lots of things. Thanks for interrupting me there, game. Ooh, look, it's uh, three now. I wouldn't call them three stars. What is it, like three pips, I guess? Um, but yeah, so if you have indeed enjoyed watching this, then please do leave a like. Any comments, comment section down below. And lastly, if you've not already done so, if it's the first time that you've visited my channel, uh, please, please, please do subscribe, guys. All right. Um, it, if my channel is growing, I know that I'm making decent content for you. And uh, it just sort of makes me happy, I guess. I don't really do this for, for monetary gain. I do it for, for you know, for fun. Um, it's something that I enjoy doing, and I like making content for you guys. Um, I just hope it's the sort of content that you guys want. Um, if not, then you can always let me know. You know, just uh, leave a comment, as, as mentioned in the comment section, and I'll certainly try and change things up for you, make it a little bit different. Um, but anyway, until next time, peace out.